Why should someone do business with you and why would someone want to work for your company? Hi, Shep Hiking here, customer service and experience expert, and today I'm going to discuss the customer experience and employee experience. Now, customer service and customer experience, also known as CX, have become as hot a topic as any in business. Owners of small businesses and leaders of the largest companies and organizations recognize the importance of the customer experience. It's what drives our business. It's become a customer expectation. Don't deliver on the customer experience and the customer will find someone who will or some company that does. And not only do you have to deliver on the experience, you have to stand out and be different. Now, in many of our customer service workshops, we do an exercise where the participants answer a powerful question that helps them understand what makes them different. And here's the question. Why should someone do business with us? In other words, why us instead of our competition? What do we do differently than our competitor? And even if it is different, do our customers really care about it? And more importantly, will that difference make a customer do more business with us versus others that sell a similar product or service? Now, these are all great questions that can cause us to have two or three hours of conversation. Well, today, there's a twist. If you've been following my work, you know that I believe that what's happening inside of an an organization is felt on the outside by the customer. Just as a company wants to keep their best customers, there also needs to be a focus on what you do to keep your employees. So, the new question isn't about customers, it's about employees and the employee experience, also known as EX. And that question now is, why would someone want to work for our company? Now, while this question may seem totally focused on the employee, it really isn't. Yes, it goes to the way employees are treated, but it also directly ties to the customer experience because without happy employees, you aren't going to have engaged employees. And a lack of engagement has a direct impact on the customer experience. Now, there's plenty of stats and facts that prove to be the best place to buy from, you have to be the best place to work for. Take a look at the list of the top 100 companies who provide the best customer service, and you'll see a lot of them overlap with the top 100 companies who are considered the best places to work. You can't ignore the obvious. So, is your CX in balance with your EX? Do you have engaged employees who feel a sense of ownership and pride when they're at work? Do they own their customers' experiences? In other words, do they take responsibility for their role in creating a good customer experience? Answer these questions and you'll have an idea of the direction you're headed or need to head to create an amazing customer experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you can find more information about my speaking programs, as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.